Welcome back to NASCAR Thunder Towns and Portland. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm about to do race um, 1536. I'm here at the Michigan International Speedway, located from in the Irish Hills of Michigan, for the running of series 400. I come in here as the points leader, looking for my ninth win of the season. And uh, I could also looking for my sixth straight win of the season. Rusty Wallace will start. Start on the pole. I start fifth. Let's uh, get this started. There we go with the um, timid ass singing. Dan Daniel back at it again with a weak ass singing. Oh, I guess I start fourth for this race. I will be carrying the uh, Sun Energy One color still. Rust, it's a uh, all Penske front row. See a couple alternate schemes. Uh, Christian for the party has got his Honey Nut, Honey Nut Cheerios car, and Ward Burton's got his uh, Thousand One Wildlife Foundation car. Foundation machine. And then on to the rest of the top ten. Here we get the start in 20 laps. Rusty Wallace is on the pole. Green flags in the air at Michigan. In the beautiful Irish Hills, one American maker will take home with a win in automaker maker country. Will it be Chevy? Will it be a Chevy taking home a win for GM? Will it be Pontiac taking home their win in their final Winston Cup season? Or will it be Ford taking on a win for Jack Roush, especially them killer bees? We got a lot of storylines. As uh, Dale Jarrett comes down to turn four, looks like he's going to leave lap number one. Kurt Busch is going to fight back on the inside. Rusty Wallace is going to duck to the bottom. Oh, this is crazy. Kurt Busch is to the point here at Michigan. Knock old DJ out of the way. And now we, whoa, now we wait. Kurt Busch still leads, by the way. And to the inside of Rusty Wallace for second. I take that away from him. And now my sights are set on Kurt Busch. Take the lead here at Michigan. As I try to put the block on Kurt Bush. Looks like he's gonna fight back on the outside. No, he's too far back to do anything. Here. Four laps put on the board. Kurt Bush is almost four tenths of a second off. He's behind me, but he's not behind by much. You see that red 97 
that dot with 97 written on it, it's getting bigger. And whoa! Contact there. Kurt Bush gets into me a little bit off turn two, no incident. Remember, I am going for my sixth win. Side by side for the lead. I barely get it over. Kurt Bush barely gets it. I uh, got him the wall there on two minutes on one. Let's try to work with Kurt Bush. See how much of uh, an alliance we can build with him down these straightaways. I'm pulling away from middle Kurt, from uh, Rusty Balls, Dale Jarrett, Ryan Newman, and the rest of the pack. And that's all by drafting with someone. I love that feeling. I'm gonna get up right behind him, Kurt Bush here. Oh, okay. Getting, apparently, can't get behind him. Yes, Kurt wants to let me by. It's like he's trying to pull. Oh, whoa, contact there. Hold up. Damn, Norton. Looks like Jeff Gordon pulled in the third. Not far behind me. Like, the middle lane here at Michigan seems to be the place to be because it's weird because Michigan is a multi-group racetrack just like Auto Club. You see guys going high, middle, low. Obviously, it's not multi-group because of that stupid high drag. Because the, that race with the high drag package last year, which was, uh, which I pretty much slept through the whole thing. I knew from the get-go it's going to be a bunch of spins and bullshit. It's not going to be anything like those low down for races at Kentucky at Darlington. So I got a draft on Kurt Busch here. Looks like I'm going to try to get to the outside of him. Or not as I he gets the lead out of two. Oh, contact. Ramley breaks in the middle, hits the brakes in the middle, ugh, middle of the straightaway. Side by side for the leads, we get to halfway point of this race. I heck out with the lead, going into turn one. Rusty Wallace was up here early on, and now he rambling pits for some reason. That's pretty weird. I'm going to come in this time for a cycle of green flag pit stops. May want to get on the Apron and stop drifting. Which one is you saw in the auto club part of this? I almost spun out coming on a pit road. <laughs> Pick all four. But, oh, it looks. It looked like someone was on pit road. I couldn't really tell if there's. Why don't like Tony Stewart was on pit road? That's weird. Problem for smoke? Oh come on guys, really? Come on, good stop. Damn it, they cost me a lap. Stay on the bottom, stay on the bottom, stay on the bottom, cruise on the bottom. On down to 37th place. One lap down, by the way. 
free out of caution. I'm going to have to... And it traps guys a lot now. I'm going to have to race, race my way past the leaders. Oh, I'm not sure it looks like some guys are pitting or not. Um, nope. Or maybe I think one guy, a couple guys are pe peeling off. Ooh, looks like Christopher Faulty and Casey Mears almost got Casey Mears. Mears there. You gotta be careful when these guys come on out of pit road onto the racetrack. Got C Park about to split them. Make a potential three way between Terry Labonte and Robbie Gordon. It looks like Kyle Petty's gonna try to. Cut, off, cut me off from drafting Ward Burton, aka Mr. Incredible, because I tried to draft with him. Him shoving past Ward Burton. Oh, this is tight. Give me room, bud. Draft with. Ricky Rudd there. I think he's on the lead lap. Yeah, he's peeling off now. He was on the lead lap. So I was up. I could probably get a uh, 24th here. Oh, Nadu cuts to the inside. I'm going to try. Yeah, I'm going to get 24th. Oh, it looks like there's cars in the pit road up ahead, but mm, possibly looks like Sterling Marlin. Yeah, that's him. Got Jeff Green, Bill, Bill Elliott, it looks like, and Johnny Benson up in front of him. Go to the inside of Bill Elliott. Me in 22nd. Whoa, Jeff Green, don't block me, you twit. What the? Was Robbie Gordon on the racetrack like a couple laps ago? Alrighty. Whoa! Johnny Benson. Mark Martin Bramley's drifting up the racetrack here. Not to go on the outside of Johnny Benson. And then cross him to the inside of Ricky Craven. Or why the old bastard's gonna let me? Oh, looks like uh, some sparks further up. Somebody got in somebody uh, up in front of me. Couldn't really tell. Whoa, Sterling, why are you blocking me? Uh, looks like Jeff Burton and Bobby Labonte got together. Yeah, damn, I might have broken in the top ten. Hot to dive under Michael Waltrip. So far, we've had a lot of caution free races this season. I noticed that. We've had a lot of yellow free races. Let's try to draft with old Kevin here. Oh shit. By the way, follow Kevin Harvick on Instagram. He's one of my favorite drivers. Favorite master drivers. Come down on him here. Side by side with, with, with my idol. But so far, Jeff Gordon leads. And he's got four laps and he can win the Sirius 400. As Jeff Gordon comes out turn four, you will see the three laps. There are three laps to go in the Series 400 today at Michigan. 
and shared out with good old Kevin Harvick. Oh, Rusty Wallace is going to come down in front of us. Ay, ay, ay. Rusty, man. Seriously, come on. Working with him, game. Put Harvick in the sixth. Could I work with him again in the top five? Who knows? We might. As we reached two laps to go in the Series 400. Last time Jeff Gordon won, won the June race here at Michigan was in Tazmon with a final thrilling shootout with uh, with Ricky Rudd. Obviously, Ricky Rudd was on the losing end of that one. It was also remembered for Rick Hendricks. Oh! Oh! Ouch! Whoa! I'm getting on rushed. Damn it. Damn it, Sterling. Car got tight and Sterling shoved me in the wall. God damn it. We come out of turn four. Jeff Gordon is going to see the white flag in the Sirius 400. Am I able to get to him? Yep. You'd probably get Mark Martin and stir these three guys in front of me. That's probably the highest I can get. Jeff Gordon makes his way in turns three and four. He will see the checkered flag. Again, just a few hundred feet. Last time he won at Michigan. Him. Jeff Gordon wins the series. Jeff Gordon wins the series 400 here at Michigan while I finish ninth. And it wasn't a crushing margin. Jeff Gordon puts an end to my six race streak of five race streak of wins. That was Tony Stewart on pit road. Looks like a possible engine issue. Bullshit. And you're not going to mention our run right there. Car got tight. I got to Kevin. And the Harvick and then Plus 56 for Kurt Busch, plus 40 for Kevin Harvick, minus 52 for Michael Walter, and minus 50 for Sterling Marlin. So, uh, Jeff Gordon was, won the Series 400 today. Ryan Newman ends up second. Dale Jarrett third. Kurt Busch fourth. Jimmy Johnson fifth. <coughs> Sterling Marlin sixth. Mark Martin seventh. Kevin Harvick eighth. I finished ninth. And Rusty Wallace finishes tenth. It's auto save here. Uh, Tony Stewart falling out of the race after uh, six laps. Possible engine issue. Let's look at the point standings. Jimmy Johnson did cut my gap a little bit during today's race. Now it's a. Uh, actually, I have a 300 point gap over Jimmy Johnson, even though Jimmy finished higher than me. This was Jeff Gordon's first win of the, of the season. All the drivers I have um, popular. Respect levels with. 
Michael Walsh, with Chase Montgomery, so far my only major rivals so far. Ruby Craven's calmed down. Kevin LePage has calmed down. Jeff Green has um, calmed down a little bit. And with Dale Jarrett, Will Slam is neutral. Rusty Wallace, Kevin Harvick, Sterling Marlin, Kurt Busch, and Jeff Gordon are drivers that you look out for in the restricted plate races to work with. Is the awards for this week. I'm killing everybody in Rookie of the Year. They should just hand me the trophy now. Alright. I have uh, nine poles on the season. I'm killing everybody in Manufactured Champion. And I'm killing everybody in the Lap Championship. So the next race is going to be a Infineon Raceway for race 1636 for the Randy D. Dodge Save Mark 350. We'll see you there.